Here's my ugly duckling. So this is the Ugly Duckling Spring 2023 Challenge hosted by Corey from Desert DIY. My piece isn't the ugliest piece I've ever seen, but it's really cheaply made. Let's put it that way. Um, those drawer fronts are just like a masonite. Um, they're so thin, it's ridiculous. Um, so that I keep in on my pieces that aren't finished yet if I have to put them on the floor. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, it's just you know everything's in pretty good shape but it's just that it's just made so cheaply it's missing one of the handles otherwise it would be really cool to you know give that mid-century modern refresh to um it's also i think been home to a few critters so i discover that as i get in the drawers didn't realize that at first uh, we have some stickers and some tape and a little bit of chip veneer. I found a crack in the front. And again, the sides are so thin. The back's masonite. So, you know, it's not the prettiest. So <laughs> I guess you could call it ugly in that regard. So I flip it over, take the drawers out. That's when I realized that it has had uh, some inhabitants. Um, and then I flip it over because not only do I want to see how bad that is, but I also want to look underneath to see if I can change the legs out maybe. And then I realize that the bottom's kind of falling down as well. So first order of business, obviously, is to get rid of any evidence that there was ever any creature in there and disinfect everything thoroughly. So I'm using a cleaner with bleach before I use anything else. I have to work a little to get the uh, tape off. I don't know what the scotch tape purpose was anyway, because it wasn't holding the veneer on, thankfully. It's so lightweight it doesn't even hurt my feet to lean the dresser on it. I do that to prop it up so I can see and get a screw in there so that the, the bottom is not hanging down anymore. It took a few attempts because I couldn't even find the frame. So you can see I was glad when I finally got it. <laughs> I used some Dixie mud to fix a little split in the wood and another piece of veneer. While the piece is on its back, I take that opportunity to do a first coat of the color that I'm going to use, Dixie Belle Silk in white cap on the bottom. While 
while that's drying, I remove the hardware and fix the veneer on the top of the piece. Obviously, this is not a veneer repair. This is just a quick fix for me to paint this piece um, because it's not a real expensive piece of furniture. If it were a little bit more uh, sturdy, I would use a more sturdy repair. Also, the chip isn't on the corner exactly, even though it's close to it. So I'm not really worried about using the Dixie Mud. If it were right on the corner and I had to kind of rebuild it, I would definitely use Bondo or something like that. So my original idea was to use baby blocks on the top drawers because I was missing one of the handles. That provided my color inspiration, but I ended up going in a little bit different direction. So it was really fun to um, paint these drawer tops. Kind of reminded me of the Partridge Family School Bus, if anybody's uh, old enough to remember that. Uh, and then I did the rest of the drawers in the white cap. So this is a two challenge weekend. So, so first we had the spring clean challenge with Sab's Rehabs. And today we have the Ugly Duckling Spring 2023 challenge. And my own challenge was that I did this piece in one day. I also submitted it for uh, the Makers Furniture Flip Season 6 challenge. So yeah, I was a busy girl yesterday. So I tried to scuff up the top with some sandpaper. Uh, you can see the top is super smooth. That really wasn't doing anything. So I did use a coat of slick stick. Uh, this is from Dixie Bell. It's a bonding primer. The directions tell you to put a coat on, let it dry, put another coat, and then wait for 24 hours. I didn't do that. So I just put a coat on and uh, that will give me a little more uh, grabbing power for the next coat of white cap because uh, the silk also has a primer built in it as well. So that'll help me out there. So I'm putting a first coat of the white cap on the rest of the piece. And as that dries, I try to clean up those lines. I thought I'll use a little uh, grinding tool that came with uh, my Dremel uh, by hand. That really didn't work, and so I ended up coming back in with an oil-based marker and just uh, cleaning up those lines. And then I used an artist brush against them just to make sure that my lines were really crisp. So on the drawer fronts then... I decide that I'm going to do a stencil. This is the Trippy Block stencil. <laughs> it's a Dixie Bell stencil. I think it's actually being discontinued now, but it's uh, probably still available in a lot of places. But um, I'm just using a regular brush and getting most of the paint off and applying this stencil. After I get the drawers put back in the piece, then I go around with the white cap and do touch up. I take uh, the end blocks off of the uh, drawers. I just paint them over just so that it has a neat appearance on both ends of the drawer. I'm going to be putting the playlist for this challenge in the description box and please check out all of the channels of all the participants and especially uh, Corey from Desert DIY. Thank you for hosting Corey and I use a gold spray on the remaining hardware and then I had these little knobs that I used um, instead of the blocks after I changed my direction because I thought even though they're primary colors, it could look really cool in like a theater room and it's definitely bright and bold. Um, and that's the name of the maker's challenge. So remember what it looked like first? And here's what we're looking at now.
Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Visit us at LaVintageDecor.company on Instagram, we're LaVintageDecor, and on Facebook, we're LaVintageDecor Altoona. Stay well!